Hi and welcome to this tutorial about understanding I know first's signal strength indicator. I'm Daniel Chai and let's begin. Um, I'm going to cover a few points. The first point is that the signal is not an entry point or a buy signal. Um, I'm also going to cover the point of why to only trade where the signals are very strong. And lastly, I'm going to show an example of Dr. Reutemann's trading strategy which can show you how you can increase your returns significantly. So first of all, a signal is not an entry point. What that really means is that the algorithm predicts stocks for different time horizons. And the signals um, are applicable to that time horizon. So for example, a stock could be very bearish in the three-day time horizon while being very, very bullish in the one-month time horizon. And of course, if the algorithm predicts the stock is still going to go down in price before eventually going up, um, you shouldn't enter a buy position um, at that very date. So the real question comes up, when should you enter the, your position? And we're going to talk about that in a second. The second thing is why you should only trade very strong signals. And the reason is that signals are like um, an elastic rubber band which stretches as the stock price goes away from where the algorithm predicts it should be and eventually snaps and the stronger the signal the more applicable it is again we're going to get more deeply into that in a second and the final point is Dr. Roitman's strategy now in order to show you how to use this strategy I pulled up a sample of a forecast for on December 2nd this is a top 10 forecast um, and as you can see the strongest signal is for GDL and over here on the right side you can see the actual two lines the red line is the moving average the five day moving average and the blue line is the actual price and i will show you how you can make a 16 and a half percent return using that very signal um, and had you entered your position on the second of december you would have only made um, between three and four percent um, so the two rules that Dr. Reutemann defined in order to enter a long position are first, the last close of the specific asset is above the five-day average and the second is the average of the five days forecast signal is up. Um, if both rules are true, you should buy. Your exit conditions are if either of the two rules is broken, you should exit. So as you can see here on the left side, this is an Excel table. Um, the first column is the dates in December. The second column are the closing prices of GEL on those specific dates. The third column is when you should enter a position and what that really means. It's a simple if-then if statement. Um, for example, on the 8th, if the closing price of the 8th is bigger than the last five-day average, it would return a 1. And if it's not, it would return a 0. And as you can see, it returns a zero until the stock begins going back up and then it returns once and finally is the actual signal which you simply take out of your signal chart now the reason I don't enter um, a trade on the second as you saw in the signal chart is when I went back in dates and pulled out the closing prices from previous dates you can see that the five day moving average um, signal by the red line here is substantially higher than the closing prices of GEL over here and I'm only going to enter a long position when I know the market trend is going back up and that my rule is for when the price goes above the five day moving average um, so in order to try and illustrate what the signal actually is you can see this is imagine it is an elastic rubber band and the signal is the actual amount that this band has to stretch in order to reach the price that it wants to reach. Now what happens when the price goes down on the fourth, you can see that the signal simply becomes stronger. Um, as well as of course the move, moving average is going down. Now if we skip to the 10th of December you can see that the stock price is now very low. It's at $36.23 and thus the signal is also very very high at 119 um, this is an ideal situation these are the kind of trades you're always looking for when trading with the algorithm um, 
and what happens here is that the stock price begins to go back up um, and as you know the moving average is also going to start curving back up if the stock price keeps going up what I'm looking for at the very at the next trading day is that the closing price is above the average and that my signals are still strong and this is actually what happens on the 12th of December the stock price moves above the five-day moving average and I know that if the next morning um, signal I receive before the market opens is positive I should enter a long position um, and I will hopefully be able to buy into that position at last night's close price of $38 and what happens the next day is the stock price actually goes down but luckily the price has gone down so little bit that the price did not move below the moving average as you can see here on the chart meaning that my exit rule did not hold true and I can still maintain my position and in the next days on the 16th, 17th, 18th and 19th the stock price shoots up um, this is symbolic of this elastic rubber band snapping. Now, what happens here um, is a little bit unique. On the 19th, is that the signal goes out of the top 10 signals. And if you just have the top 10 um, and not a customized table, you will not be able to follow that signal all the time. Um, of course, you can always upgrade to a customized forecast where you see all of the signals all the time for your assets. Um, however, as you can see indicated here, it was still a positive signal, so I added that in. Now on the 23rd, um, the signal turned negative. So if you had a customized forecast, you would have seen that the signal turned negative, and when that happened, you should exit your position, meaning that you would exit at that morning at last night's closing price of $44.37. Um, however, even if you don't have this indication the very next day the five day moving average moved below uh, excuse me our price moved below the five day moving average um, and thus our exit rule would um, activate anyway and as you can see here the returns were quite significant um, if you had the customized forecast and were able to exit on the 23rd you would have made a return of 16 and a half percent in just seven days else you would have exit the very next day so eight days and would have made a return of 14 percent also not bad um, so just to recap a little bit the rules for entry are when the last close of the specific asset is above the five day average and when the average of the last five days forecast signal is up the exit condition is if either of the two entry rules are broken then you should exit of course the same holds true for uh, your short position so it would be the last close of the specific asset is below the five day average and the average of the last five days signal is down and then you could enter a short position and of course exit with the same exit rule um, and that's that so in the next part part two um, I'm gonna show not not visually like in this video but just mathematically all of the 12 or 13 trades that you were able to do in December if you were using this this strategy and show that they all had the exact same move um, basically catching the stock when the direction changes and riding it up so thank you and see you next time